Yeah? Oh, shut up. <laughs> What's the title of this video again? Oh, look at that! All alone. Chris, you're not here to watch them with me. We should just do a collab one day where Chris is just here. We're like, hey, welcome. So I'm like, ah! <laughs> you're just like the hand that I hold, just like, ah, no! Family 60 year business in Mexico, and I've inherited a lot of stuff, so one by one, I've been sticking a couple of things in this box in the basement. Now, when my wife said that she whistled today and she heard something in the basement, so. It's probably a cat. What the shit? Oh, dude. I'm not really sure if I should. Ooh. <laughs> We've been stacking up these boxes for the kids to sit and play with. Oh, excuse me. You're. No. We'll go down. Take a look. <laughs> Hell, what that is. Okay, theories. Theories, let's talk theories. Let's be logical about this, okay? Probably there's a cat in that box, moving around, being a little boop, because cats, what do we know about cats? They love boxes. They love them. Two, he just said that the kids are playing with the boxes, and that pile looks pretty, like, high enough for some kids to be underneath it and to go whoop boom, you know? So I feel like maybe he's got a toddler in there that's a, that's a toddler size box. Uh, I feel like I could debunk this and I'm totally, um, you know, I'm fine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I get it now? Stay there. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Mm. Uh. <sighs> oh my God, I hate that. Ooh, that freaks me out. That actually freaks, uh, because I, they, uh, I don't know how to explain that because you don't, they didn't have any time to get away from that fast enough. Whew. That got me. That really got me. That really got me. D it really got me. Ah, oh, God. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark. And it's a scary one. It got me real good, the first one. And our videos today are all about our top 10 scary videos you should not watch alone. Well, I guess I'm not playing by the rules here. Chris is here though, so that counts. Say hi, Chris. Hey. There you go. All right, let's go. Have the living room area. So far, it's quite small. Kitchen. Hallway where nice. most of the stuff Pretty happens. Pretty good floors. I'll turn on the light dark. Um. Oh. Yeah, I love that music. Solid, solid choice of tunes. I love how it just starts out as a, like an apartment tour. Like, yeah, that's the couch. Yeah, that's the floor. Yeah, this is this is where the activity usually happens. There's a damn ghost right there. That's Cheryl. We're best friends, Cheryl and I. That would be kind of what I would do though. If I thought I was being haunted in a house, I would just give a name to the ghost. And every time something moved, like, I'd be like, Susan, that's enough. Okay, or like what if what if we developed a really positive relationship and then like one day I just see like a cup struggling to get to the counter and then I just see the kettle like floating in the air but like clearly it's struggling and pours me a cup of tea. I'd be like, you did it! That's so good! I'm so proud of you! And then we'd be best friends, then it'd be great. It's either a diffuser or a demon. Oh, looking at the wrong corner. Oh. Ooh. Uh... Get up, man! Your woman just
just got pulled from bed. Come on, get up. All right, he's like, ugh. He's acting like the alarm just went off. Like, oh man, my wife almost died. Can I just have five more minutes before I rescue you? Answer is no. Get up there and save the love of your life, man. That's ridiculous. If I was in bed, I'd be like, girl, I got you. It's the build up. I hate the build up. I hate the build up. And now there's songs playing, and I don't understand. Shut up. Don't run towards it, you twit! Mother of. Oh, I just swore a lot. Sorry, Lucy. Sorry, Trash. Sorry, Keegan. Huh? Don't run towards it. Don't just just go the other way. Leave. Never return. I want, <laughs> poor ghost too, just like, what if the ghost was more scared of him too? Because he was just kind of like, they were just kind of like, looking at him going, I think he's not gonna come after us. I think he's not gonna come after us. I'm just gonna go into this wall. It's all good. That's kind of like, you know, that like, he didn't look like he was gonna cause any problems, so I would have just gone the opposite way. You know, like when you see a raccoon, they're more scared of us than we are of them. The same could be true for zombies and ghosts and ghouls. They don't know what the heck is going on. We see a man come walking with his back turned to the camera. Okay. He seems to be in a trance or even oddly possessed as he slowly shuffles forward. Does he? Seems like in a matter okay. of seconds, he is gone. He's just kind of chill, I think. Where did he go? So down, we see him shoot upwards into the sky like Superman. Was this a case of a possible alien abduction caught on camera? Whoa. Whoa! Unless it's some high-tech harness. I believe in aliens, for sure. I hope he's doing okay. Hope he's, like, made some friends up there. Cause that, that, I, I don't know. That could be some video editing stuff. Or it could be aliens, so I'm going to give you guys the choice on this one. After this man returning to his getaway car after robbing a convenience store in downtown Miami. However, things get weird and bizarre when the car suddenly vanishes before our very eyes. There one second, and completely gone the next. I was in slow-mo before. Ow. Boy, what's going on in Miami, bro? Boy, she would have got in there. No! <laughs> um, that's super weird. The one thing I could, I wonder if it is, is just like a glitch in playback, maybe? Like somehow the recording just stopped right there, so it gave the impression that the car disappeared. That's so weird. I mean, I wonder, I think that could be a glitch in the security system that just looked way too crisp and clean. I don't know. Well, I, I rarely see cars disappear in real life, so I'm not an expert, but that, um, most likely a glitch in the, it's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> like you're an animal. Oh, I didn't want notice until I watched the video later. What? I hate when they do that. We're not sleeping here tonight. What? What was it? What? What exactly was peeking out of I the didn't window see it. here? Some people say that it could have been an intruder that is living in their house, unknowingly of course. I don't see it. Others suspect it to be a bad joke by either a family member oh, or someone else. Oh, weird. Oh, I just got that. Okay. I'm a little more settled now. I know that things are going to happen. I have no control over them. I only have control on how I react to them. Kind of. Kind of. 
Man, every time, I get, every time I get really scared of videos like these, I just think about all the fantasy books I read and like thinking that I would totally be fine. Like I would totally not scream and run away. And then I watch videos like these and I have reactions like I did with the first one. And now I'm like, oh, I probably die in the first two minutes. Disappointing. Hello? Mm hmm. Whoa. Something seemed to be running at them, full speed. A really creepy encounter. Little did they know, another stationary camcorder, which was placed in the main hall, captured the following, which appeared to be unfolding, right next to them. Didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. Can you go back just a little bit? Just like... Just a little. Am I blind? I didn't see anything. I mean, I guess that's that's the point. You can't really see ghosts, can you? So I guess, I guess there was a ghost there. I mean, that does remind me of that scene from Paranormal Activity, and it is the scene that freaks me out to this day. Like if I think about it. It's the, like the girl in the movie has the door open and you just hear like the steps get louder and louder and then all of a sudden they're like running up the stairs and then there's like that sound as the door closes. That's what that reminded me of so I did get a little scared but overall it's probably just a deceased Olympic runner trying to get the gold still. Anyways guys, I've been your host Rachel Fisher. It was a it was a time. I'm scared. Chris Chris uh, didn't do many favors in that one. I must say uh, he's in my bad books. But until that, stop it, Christopher! <gasps> no, I didn't like it. I didn't like that one at all. <laughs> until next time, guys. Take care and stay scared, Christopher. <laughs> After all, meow. Anyways. Great, but I'm with you guys, right? Never alone. I think that's the point of these videos though. You're never alone. That's the worst, I hate that. Okay, <laughs> I'm not excited, I'm not. Oh, okay, this is like watching a horror movie in the morning. Yeah, right there is perfect. Uh, welcome, what is it? Top 10 scary videos that you should not watch alone. No, we're not watching it again, Chris. I can't. I can't do that one again. Oh, that really freaks me out. Like my stop, my spine and my stomach is all whoop 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 whoop. Stop it! I don't want it, Chris. Oh, that's enough, Christopher. E. All right. Let's go. Whoop whoop. I think. I feel pretty okay right now. I feel like the videos are taming down and I'm not gonna get too scared. You know, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be okay. Let's move on. <laughs> if like, she's actually just gonna zoom in, just like, she's not okay. All right.